mock-ups are all the rage. They are very easy to edit and a major time saver. I'm Ashley Harrell for Envato Tuts Plus, and I'm going to teach you how to create your very own enamel pen mock-up in Adobe Photoshop. But before we begin, make sure you check out Envato Elements. You can get unlimited downloads of design assets, fonts, and photos like the one used in this tutorial. Subscribe now with the link in the description. Go ahead and open up the blue jean texture in Photoshop and then save it as a PSD file. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this rectangle tool and create a square that's about 2,710 pixels by 2,535 pixels. And we're going to get rid of the stroke and we are going to name this layer icon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it twice by hitting Command J on your keyboard. Or you can also select the file, right click and go to duplicate layer. And then I'm going to name these other ones symbol and words. Then I'm going to select each layer, right click and convert to smart object. You can also change the color of each layer by right clicking and selecting the color. This helps keep everything organized as we create these enamel pins. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to start with the symbol layer and we're going to double click it to bring up the smart object window. Next, we're going to go into our Illustrator file and we are going to open up the enamel pin, well, the symbol. And we are going to copy and paste it into our smart object. And you want to make sure that Smart Object is selected so that you can easily resize it without losing the resolution. From there, we are going to make the background invisible and I'm going to name this symbol. Then you're going to right click and select group from layers to place it with within its own group and we're going to name it bevel and emboss. Now we're going to double click this layer and Go ahead and apply these layer styles for bevel and emboss. So you want to leave the style at inner bevel, the technique at smooth, the depth at 261. The direction should be left up, size should be 56, and a soften should be 0. Next for our shading, the angle will be left at 30. Use global light should still be checked. The altitude should be 30. The gloss contour we're going to do is ring. Then for the highlight mode, leave it at screen. The opacity should be 78. Leave the color as is. 
Shadow mode should be on multiply. The opacity should be zero. From there, select OK. And now you should save this smart object by selecting Command S on your keyboard, or you can go up to File and click on Save. Now jumping back over here to our main file, I'm going to make these other layers invisible so that all we have showing is the simple layer. From there, we are going to duplicate the symbol layer twice. And you can name these symbol two and symbol three. But for now, for symbol two and symbol three, we're going to make those invisible and we'll come back to those later. So for this main layer here, we are going to add some layer styles. So first, let's start with bevel and emboss. For the style, we're going to choose outer bevel. The technique will be smooth. The depth will be 209. The direction will be up. The size will be 8 pixels. And soften will be 16 pixels. The angle will be 30 degrees. Altitude will be 30 degrees. Use global light. Should be checked. And then gloss contour, we're going to use linear. Highlight mode should be screen at 100%. And multiply should be at 97. And we're going to change the color here to 574418, this brownish color. Now for contour, we are going to change this to the cone and change and leave the range at 50%. Next, what we're going to do is apply a stroke. The size should be 38 pixels. The position should be inside blend mode. We're going to change the blend mode to hue and the opacity to 100%. Now we're going to change the fill type to gradient and I'm going to be using multiple stops. So my first one will be B589. Two, four. My second stop will be C eight A eight five E. My third stop will be D one C zero six one. And then for my last stop will be B5, 8, 9, 2, 4. And then style linear angle 90 and scale at 100%. Next, we will apply a inner shadow. Blend mode should be multiply. Leave it at the color black. Opacity should be 82%. The angle should be 129, and we're going to take off the use global light. The distance should be 57, choke 0%, size 29 pixels. Next, we're going to add a inner glow. 
And for the blend mode, change that to Color Dodge, Opacity 67%. The noise should be about 5%. And we're going to change the color to E6 FA E2. And then for the technique, choose softer. For the source, should be edge. Choke should be 8%. The size should be 76 pixels. And then contour, linear, range 50% and jitter 0%. Now we are going to apply a satin layer and go ahead and change this to color burn. And for the color, we're going to do A1, A1, A1. The opacity will be 83%. The angle will be 90 degrees. Distance, 208. The size will be 213 pixels. And the contour will be linear. Now we will apply an outer glow. Change the blend mode to multiply. The opacity to 50%. Noise should stay at 0%. And for the color, we will change that to 423A0 and the letter B. For elements, the technique will stay at softer. Spread 0% and the size will be 49 pixels. For quality, the contour, we're going to change this to Gaussian. The range, range in jitter will be left as is. And then go ahead and click OK. So this is how it should look so far, but what we're going to do now, we're going to add some a little noise to our symbol. So go to filter, blur, no, filter noise and click on add noise. And the amount you want to do is 8% and you want to make sure the distribution is set on uniform and monochromatic and select OK. Now we're going to dive deeper and we're going to make this look more 3D. Now we're going to take the symbol two letter layer and we are going to drag it so that it's beneath our symbol layer. And now we are going to apply a drop shadow to this layer, the blend mode, should be normal, opacity 100%. The color that we're going to do is 354E15. Angle should be 30 degrees, and we're going to keep it on use global light. Okay. And for the distance, we're going to do 54 pixels. Spread is 0% and the size is 0 as well. And then contour and noise should be as is. And then click on OK. Now we're going to right click and we are going to place this in a group and we're going to name it Drop Shadow. Now what I am going to do, we are going to double click this layer and we're going to add some more layer styles. So add an additional drop shadow. Well, first, not the drop shadow. Let's go back and we're going to do a bevel and emboss. So apply an inner bevel. Technique will be smooth. The depth will be 636%. Direction will be up. The size will be 81 pixels. 
soften will be set to zero pixels. The angle will be 142 degrees, altitude five. Use global light will be unchecked. So now I have to retype these numbers. The gloss contour will be ring. So for the highlight mode, we're going to set that to screen. Opacity will be 74%. The color will be left as is. Shadow mode will be left at multiply. But we're going to change this color here to 171718. And the opacity will be 56. Now we are going to apply an inner glow. So the blend mode, we're going to leave at color dodge. Opacity will be 50%. Noise will go to 0%. And the color will be FFF. For the technique, we will leave it at softer. The source will be the edge. Choke will be 0%. And the size will be 47 pixels. For the contour, we're going to leave linear, linear, linear. The range will be 50%. Jitter will be 0% as well. Next, we will add a satin layer style. We're going to change the blend mode to linear burn. And change this color to 5A, 5A, 5A. Opacity will be 50%. Angle 162 degrees. Distance will be 166. 166 pixels. And the size will be 170 pixels. And then rest of it, you can leave it as is. Now we will apply... A gradient overlay, the blend mode will be left at normal opacity 100%. Now we will start with our gradient. So I'm just doing my first stop, which will be B78B2F. My second stop will be E6B441. My third stop will be BA8E2E. My next stop will be FFF5B9. And then my last stop will be BB8F. 3E. And the style will stay the same. Angle will change to 63 degrees and the scale will be left at 100. And click on OK. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit here. This is how your symbol should look. Next, select this symbol layer and this drop shadow layer, and we're going to group from layers, and we are going to name it Symbol 3D. Now we're going to add even more layer styles. So first, let's start off with a inner glow. Change, well, keep the keep this layer at color dodge, color dodge. The opacity to 36%, the noise to 5%, and we're going to change the color to F0, F2, F0. For the technique, we're going to leave it at softer. Source will be the edge, choke will be 8%, and the size will be 7 pixels. For contour, we're going to leave it as is, and the range in jitter will also be left 
as is. Next, we're going to apply a satin layer style, change it to color burn, and this color will be A1, A1, A1. The opacity will be 46%, angle will be 90, the distance will be 166, the size will be 170, and everything else will stay the same. Next, we will apply a gradient overlay, and the gradient overlay will be set to multiply. The opacity will be 100%, and we're just going to have two stops on this gradient overlay, so I'm deleting the others that we had, and change this for first stop to D7. D7, D7, and this second stop to white. And change the angle to 90. And click OK. Now we're going to take our symbol three layer here and we're going to bring it underneath our symbol 3d group and we are going to apply a color overlay and leave it at normal and we're going to change this to black and the opacity will be left at a hundred percent from there, we are going to apply a Gaussian Blur to this layer. So go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to use five pixels and select OK. Next, we are going to apply a Motion Blur. So Filter Blur, Motion Blur, and we're going to use a angle of negative 37 and a distance of 197 and then select OK. Now we're going to use the move tool and we are going to move it slightly to the right. Oh, let me go back. and take off my auto select here and just only move the drop shadow layer. Well, the simple three layer. You can also play around with the drop shadow layer if you want to move it a tad bit over to the left of it to give it that more of a 3D look to it. Now go ahead and select your symbol 3D and your symbol 3 layer and hit Command T or Edit Free Transform. And we are going to rotate it so this is about negative 6. And hit the check mark. That is basically how you create your very own gold enamel pen in Photoshop. Repeat these, these exact same steps so that you can create the bear icon and the gold pen. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. I'm Ashley Harrell. Thank you for watching.